Welcome, JD, to another edition of The Bones of Advertising. I'm Craig McLeod, which makes you... I feel a little childlike sense of wonder today. I feel childish. Childish. You feel feel childish. So you're seeing the world through these young eyes and everything looks magical. That's right. I am. Uh, I am. I am seeing the world through uh, through a younger person's eyes, and um, and I think it's because I may be a little bit full of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Did you rip open the bag of snakes, my boy? Uh, well, not so much. Not snakes. No, no. Unfortunately, but I have been. Um, I have been chowing down on some uh, on some confectionery. Wow. Um, just to uh, just to get me through. It's um, yeah. it's uh, late in the week, and uh, yep. You know, every now well, and but then. But it's either the go-to is generally it's the two o'clock coffee or it's the uh, the two thirty bag of snakes or the the Daryl Lee licorice, the um, the red licorice, which I'm not sure it can yeah. be called licorice, or a favourite of mine, mate, the old Maltesers, and then you work out you've got oh. a bit of a problem with the roof of your mouth because you're either a cruncher or you're someone that's going to try and get the tongue to work all the chocolate off, and then you get to the bit that's crispy, oh. and you boom before you know it, it's all like a rash up there. And it's stuck on the top of your tongue, like. <laughs> oh, and your tongue's half rashed up as well. It's yeah. an interesting place to be, isn't it? The old Maltese. Yeah. I'm a uh, I'm a jelly bean fan myself. I like oh, a, uh, the jelly bean, not the ones from the chemist. I don't mind the ones. I like them all. Like the, ones oh, from the, chemist, the ones from the chemist because they seem like they're healthier somehow. Yeah. I tell you, there's a there's a great man who uh, who works with us here called Jackie Boy, who you know, mate, and he cannot go past a chemist without going in to get one of the bags. He either gets the small one yep. or the really big one, but he absolutely loves them. Yeah, yeah. And to this day, no one, I've never met, I've never met someone who's divided, everyone's divided on the black ones, like oh. you either love them or you hate them. Yep, there's no in between. There's no in between. And I've yet to meet anyone who likes a green one. Yes. Well, the green one's a little odd, of course, isn't it? But then there's also, when you get into the Allens, there's the party mix, but then there's the retro party mix, which is my go-to because only one of them, and I'm not sure which, has the teeth. And I love the teeth, that sort of soft pink, white. It's just beautiful stuff. The other one that I could never get my my mouth around. What was that? The bloody milk bottle. Oh, what is the milk bottle? You know what? And the strawberries and cream. It's only the top bit. You eat the strawberry and throw the cream away. Like I've yeah. never been about the white stuff. I've never, I've never understood. But there are some people who like, um, who like, uh, like milk bottles. But, but we're not here to talk about product. We're not here to talk about product. We're here to talk about advertising. Let me say it again. Advertising. <laughs> Have you seen? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I just would have thought. Now, the, you know, the great thing, we're talking about advertising to kids um, uh, because, as we know, as we know, adults don't eat lollies. <laughs> Only kids. <laughs> yes, hand on heart, mate. I'm still very, very partial. I think there's two packs in the cupboard at the moment, both retro party mix. I've done well not to open either of them, and it's Friday. But you're right, advertising, advertising to kids, my boy. Advertising to children, especially confectionery, lollies, ice cream, all the sweet stuff. Now, what, the way all this came about is I said to you, my boy, can you tell me the last ad you remember that is a great confectionery commercial, an ad of any sort? And you said what? The, the one I remember is the one for the Buller cookies and um, ice cream. It's an ice cream sandwich with a, oh, like a, a crust. And the, and the idea of it is just fantastic it's so like, good oh, oh, just like you know unfakeable i thought that was all Love great it. and you know but there was a headline last year and i've i'm going to try and find it and stick it up here yes. but for the life of me i can't remember it but i can remember driving behind a bus and it was there and i've turned i've turned to the good lady douglas and i've said that's the shittest ad I've ever seen. Like it's all about taste and and its mouthfeel and it's glorious. And they put a headline like that up, and the little voice from the back said, "Oh, could I get one of those, Dad?" Oh, so, oh work for him then, didn't so it? Snap, boom! <laughs> it worked perfectly. What was it? Was it like the Maxi Bond, the ugliest ice cream, but the absolute best ever? Where one ends like a bicky with ice cream in the middle, and then the others like a like a magnum almond on stuck on the other end. Was it something like that? No, no, this is one of those, like a like a really, really high end, 
like a cross between a yo-yo and oh. an Eskimo pie. Oh, how good was the Eskimo pie? Remember those days? And you'd always have the bit at the back end of the Eskimo pie that'd kind of come out and you're trying to get it out of the out of the paper and you're peeling it off. But oh, it was just delicious, the old Eskimo pie. My dad loved an Eskimo pie. Old Jimmy Boyd loved them. I love a um, I'm a I'm a simple, I like vanilla ice cream yep. and um maybe a little bit of hokey pokey, but you know, different story. But I've never, I've never, I've never had an ice cream that I like better. In in a you know, classic kind of mainstream ice cream, yeah. Then the then the boysenberry choc top that you get at the cinema, oh, and I reckon yeah. it's more about the experience than it is about the ice cream itself. But yeah. I've never seen them advertised. Yeah, I've never no. seen them advertised at all. No, never but, seen them advertised ever. Let me let me just roll uh, roll on a couple of commercials for you now, and tell me what you think of this one. We're going to go first off with uh, with this. Hey, hello, Fossum. Mmm, the natural confectionery company jellies. You know what's in these? No artificial colours, no artificial flavours. 99% fat free. But don't chop the dinosaur, Daddy! Mm. The natural confectionery company. No artificial colours, no artificial flavours. 99% fat free. Mm. So a natural confectionery company from a while back. Now, yep. all you got on screen is a dad and a daughter, and then you've just got this absolute cracking line, not the dinosaur, daddy. I mean, <laughs> and today it still it still rings true. It's an absolute ripper. And oh, still, you, I still love it. Still would make me go, you know what? I should try them again. I used to eat them all the time. Yeah, yeah. No, I and I'm a big, I reckon the, the natural confectionery company have got it. It, you know bang on i think yeah. it's just i think it's fantastic it's right up there with um do you remember the i like aeroplane jelly i do mate i do but they drag it out every 20 years or so some marketing genius in an yeah. aeroplane jelly goes you know what i reckon people still sing that and you know what people still do <laughs> you know what mate what were we talking about in a couple of episodes ago about how don't come in and try and change something that's already bloody brilliant and it's continuing to work. I remember fondly going and seeing a band. Like one of the guys I used to work with had a punk band. You know, okay. uh, he was a barista and he had a punk band and had no knees because one of his party tricks was to fall on his knees in the middle of a song, Ooh. screaming. And, yeah, his knees were rooted. But um, <laughs> they did a... They did a punk version of I Love Aeroplane Jelly and the whole crowd was like, Of course they did. Why wouldn't you? Back yeah. if you if that was in your time, they absolutely loved it. Let me just draw your attention to another one that was done by Alan's uh, recently, or not maybe not super recently, but but not not mm. in the too distant past. Let's have a look at this one. Pilot didn't make it. Alan's makes families smile. Now, mate, for me, trying to play on the old drone culture and, you know, yeah. mum drops the little, you know, red um, jelly baby in and off it goes and it lands somewhere and he finally gets it, but fell short for me. Not, not yeah. great at all, really. When you compare it to, not the dinosaur, daddy. <laughs> I'm like, nah. But, you know, here I am. I'm still munching on the Allen's lollies however many years oh, later. So I have a, um, a, I heard a, good, a great rule of thumb once. You know, you advertise when you're advertising to kids, you know, it's working when if you drive past or walk past the school and you hear the kids saying it in the, in the, um, in the playground, yep. and you know you've won. Like, you've won. The, do you remember that, um, that, uh, that lovely piece for, um, uh, it was for SPC fruit salad? Oh, yeah. Slippery, slippery little fucker. Slippery <laughs> suckers. <laughs> yep. And then was it Ard Mona that did another one where they had one of the legends from the awesome foursome up top? No, and he Golden was Golden Valley Gold. Gold. Golden Valley Gold. Valley Gold. Yep. <laughs> I mean, just some great stuff. I mean, that was really bloody good. 
Yeah, and and you hear kids sing it. You hear yeah. kids sing it, and it's like, well, you know, there it is, job done. Yeah, like like the there's. I think we don't see too much of it anymore because not targeted to us, as you said. It's not, it's not targeted to us because old people don't eat lollies. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And and also, I don't think. I think a lot of marketers today still undersell the value of television. Yeah. For a culture that doesn't watch television, there's a shitload of television being watched. <laughs> I think you're right. I think we put out a um, we put out some stats on uh, on our socials a couple of weeks back, mate, saying that you know, TV is basically going off its chops. There is. Yeah, yeah more people than there's ever been before or ever likely to be again as we come out, you know, head to, head to coming out of this lockdown. Extraordinary numbers of people watching linear TV. But even if it's even if it's not TV, like I can't watch a golf video on YouTube without having to sit through 30 seconds of, you know, yep. some bloke selling me constipation cures. I mean, how does he know? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, what's your search history, buddy? Fucking you've been getting the old bloody constipation. I don't know. No, it's just those stupid, like, you know, you watch those. We watch um, you can't watch a you can't watch a cooking show on SBS without seeing some bloke hanging upside down from an avocado tree. Like, you know, it's just <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like I do, I love it. But there's even some of the other stuff that you just you know, surely the old Bubble A Bill style ad needs to come out this summer. I remember the Golden Gay Time as well. That oh. was extraordinary, the Golden Gay Time. Or even looking at, remember the old Big M ads? Where are the Big M ads gone? Where's oh. the, maybe not the same as the old Big M ads, but where's the new version of the Big M ad? I Where love they go? those. I love those Big M ads and, and they made people want to go and drink. Oh, mate, I'm still searching for the egg flip. Someone told me on a call the other day the egg flips around. I'm like, no, it's not. The egg yeah. flip does not exist anymore. It's not around. Yeah, yeah. It's like the um, it's gone. It's gone the way of the uh, of the dinosaur, the dodo, and the Allen's mint leaf. Remember? Oh, the mint leaf. Yes, with all the sugar on top, and it was kind of a weird sticky. It yeah, got yeah. so stuck to you. It just was no good. It was a weird. It was, it was one of the weirdest lollies, and the fact that it stuck around as long as it did. Did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They bought the Polly Waffle back. Oh, a... Polly Waffle. Hey, do you remember the Morrow Bar? How the Morrow Bar was, I think we've been here before, but it was the poor Mars Bar, wasn't it? The yeah, old yeah. Morrow. Yeah. I do love a Morrow. When you get that, you know, when you get the bloody all yeah, you know, favorites. The, the favorites, yeah. that's what it is, the favorites. Mate, the Morrow's my first choice. I always bang the Morrow's in straight up because no one wants them. Oh yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what I, I quite like? And I reckon this is this sets this sets apart and they should they should advertise this to kids. Because kids will bloody eat anything. It's pretty <laughs> Turkish delight. I reckon oh. if you could get kiddies eating Turkish delight, then it would it would expand their their taste buds, and all of a sudden you'd have a just an army of gourmets like now, stretching into the future, like that M1. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Remember, I want you to remember <laughs> me. Was it Turkish delight, and was it? cherry ripe that were once upon a time owned by was it McRobertson's or was it no, uh, Turkish Delight was owned by Fry's Fry's and that's the one yeah. and, and, and what the, was the I'm sure ripe, I, McRobbins may have been McRobbins I, never, I was never a cherry ripe oh, I didn't, I didn't care cherry ripe and the darker the chocolate when they do the double coat these days ship it in see I that's um I think they just they were the first people to make me realise that people are doing far too much with coconut, and that is the devil's food and should be outlawed. There should, there's a, there's yes. Just... Okay, I, I do feel you on the coconut side of things, but I'm going to also draw you to. Um, we're not going to show this one, but remember the gorilla and Cadbury was brilliant, and then we did the backup of the orangutan and yeah, Daryl Lee. Yep. Yeah. So again. There's, there's still a little bit going on, but I'm thought, sort of talking like the ice cream confectionery. I think it's an area that we need to explore. I think we might poke some bears in that space and see if we can get a little uh, a meeting and perhaps a brief from one of those people. That's what we need. We just need someone who wants to explore mm. the fact that you can actually make money from ice cream. <laughs> you can actually make money from selling kids lollies. Who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought you could? Who would have thought? Remember going to the bloody, what was yeah. it called, the local milk bar and saying, "I got twenty cents 
and you'd whack it over and you'd come out with a bag this big Aww. full of lollies. And they were the they were the grade A stuff as well. It was mates. Yep. It was the all of the clinkers. Bulbs, clinkers. It was clinkers. all of that stuffed into this Cobbers. bag. And you're like, oh yeah, this is good gear. Oh, really I used good. to have that, used to have the uh the glass case. Not the, yeah, not the Bay Marie, but the glass container. Yeah, and they were all them. in there in their individual boxes. Oh, the two cents worth of those, and three oh, that, cents worth of those. Yeah. And they did it, you know, and, and it was all with their hand. <laughs> they yeah. whacked them in. Here totally we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could have been scratching his Neil glass five seconds before. <laughs> Who would have cared? No one even gave a shit about anything like that before, mate. And no one got sick. No one got sick. No, no, I got sick because like they were just they were it was um it was nature's way. That's what it was. nature's way. Hey, that's not a bad it's not a brand, not a bad name for a brand. Nature's it is, way. It's a great name. For Wonder a if brand. they make lollies, my boy. Yeah, yeah. Or constipation cures. I'm really not sure. I don't know. It's just um <laughs> chewable constipation chews brought to you by who the fuck knows who. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay, my boy, I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, if please, you could come up with an ad for your favourite lolly, and it was going to be targeted right across the board, so it's got to be anyone with a bloody mouth. That's who our market is this time. So yeah. anyone with a mouth, they're our target. What would yours be? What would you actually want to come up with? Oh, um, so I get to I get to pick the confectionery. Yeah, you can pick the confectionery. You can pick the brand, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go with the um, uh, the jelly bean. Oh, the jelly bean! Gee, because I, that's a that's going to be a tough sell because I reckon you've got your lovers and your haters. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think we talk to the haters. I think okay. you only need to you only need to cut talk our market in half. You only need to talk to the to the to the lovers, the and lovers. you would do something based around. So there's three things I reckon people love about jelly beans is when you get when you get the right ones with the right flavour, the flavour is a lot bigger than the jelly bean. Yes. So you've got a thing like this, but the flavour is like, like that. Yeah, good good point. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to say from here to here. So you put a jelly bean, you know, this big on an outdoor poster and you go actual size. <laughs> then you have a big one and you have actual taste. Like, you know. <laughs> oh, fuck, I love it. Like it's just simple. Like that is outstanding. And who we got? We just got the brand up top. JD's jelly beans. JD's jelly beans. Actual Love size, it. actual taste. Bloody like good. Something I reckon people people like that. They like a uh, they like a quick burst of uh, of sugar, but they want them to be a little bit healthier. So that whole you know the the natural confectionery company or the or the you know the the chemists um, guardian chemists I think they are the uh, yeah I think you're right bag. it is too in yeah, the yep. little clear bag with the black writing on it mm -hmm. <clears throat> just a little um you know and the and the, a headline that was something something like um if you think confectionery is unhealthy you don't know beans <laughs> you know <laughs> something something like that that's why they pay you the big bucks look at you just bam two <laughs> big campaigns out they come Bang them out. For me, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the natural confection co confectionery company. I'm gonna say we're gonna reinvent that little girl because by now she's probably I don't know 25 or something. Who knows how old she is? We're gonna bring her back. Oh, great. We're idea. gonna do a campaign to say who with her daughter. With her daughter saying, "Yeah, mum, yep, it's time to take the dinosaur out." <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to come up with a new line for her daughter to say and see how catchy it can, can really be. Oh, yeah, get it out there. Get it out there. Let's yeah. roll her back out. Whoever she is and wherever she's from, we're coming to find you. Bite your head off a dinosaur. Bite yeah. that head off, Mum. Yeah, yeah. Go bite a dinosaur. There you go. Go bite a dinosaur. God. Yes, the dinosaur, Mummy. And I reckon it's like you just have a picture of a dinosaur with, with its head off. And a you know a dinosaur with a with a uh, with its tail off. Yeah. You just go heads or tails, your mouth wins. Never fails. Yeah. Boom. Tails never fails. Heads or tails never fails. Bang! We just nailed it again, my boy. See, see that's how it happens. That's how. It okay. Happens. One last thing to look at before we sign off for today, and it has to be the mouth destroying Malteser, my boy. Oh. Now, how it's good? So, it's so like I love the way the the ad. Can we do? Can we play that? The, the play one that one right now.
Maltesers. Look on the light side. Look, it's, it's elegant. It's not a cinema, it's a, 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 it's a hotel. But, you know, it's so elegant. It's like, oh, posh, posh yeah. lollies. And you go, well, what a way it goes. It's all lovely. <laughs> actually, I think they're in a jewellery shop, my boy. I think they're actually on the glass counter. One's up one end, one's down the other end, and they put the Malteser down because she's got one in her gob, an old mate down the road. She hasn't got one, so just out comes the fan. Yeah, yeah. Just love it. I mean, to me, that is very, very, very good. I'm, I love a Malteser. I'm a big fan of a Malteser. I'm a chewer, to be You're fair. A chewer. I'm a cruncher. All right. You're a cruncher. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, see, for me, <clears throat> there's, there's the aftermath of the Malteser that almost causes you drama for like three, three or four days because <laughs> I get them on the top. It's like when you, <laughs> now, you know when you go to the footy and you actually get the only hot pie in the Bay Marie, right? You, only, you get the one and only that's hot. And you stick that into the pie hole and you're like, <laughs> and you got sauce and meat down your bloody jeans for the rest of the game. And that takes two weeks to heal on the inside. Now, that I don't know why, but it does. But the Malteser has a similar effect, but just a smaller version of that. Yeah, and yeah, I tell you, right. the aftermath, you can't have anything that's going to cause drama. So anything hot goes in, you're like, oh, oh. But it's so worth it while you're at them. Oh, no, I, uh, I, I love the, uh, the Malteser. I think the... Uh... I think the this whole idea of it being, you know, light, I think they sell it really well. I do. And I think that I like the branding in that because it's like it's red and it's brown and like we've yep. got brown colours and, you know. Brilliant. It's, it's terrific. I reckon they could have a bit more fun with it. Like I reckon they could. I reckon there's a line there somewhere as well, JD. Maybe it's like roll one in, Maltesers or whatever, you know. Like there's, there's got to be, you know, damage your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Maltesers, fuck your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Maltesers. You want to diet? Eat Maltesers. You won't eat for a fucking week. <laughs> I really like it. I really do like yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, that'll sell us. That'll sell us. All those people who have just come here looking looking for intelligence and looking and, for intelligence. And well, if they come here looking for intelligence, I'm going to tell them they've come to the wrong spot, my boy. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, actually, what about what about a lie that just says Maltesers? <laughs> 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 Maltesers is easy. It's got to be chew, suck. That's it. Question yeah. mark. There's yeah. only two. There's no other way. No, no. You either, you either, you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Maltesers. You either chew them or you suck. Like, you know, <laughs> well, there's obviously the, the suck problem could be an issue for us, but let's maybe go. I like it. Go. I think it's, I think you need, we need to have more. Okay, fun. no politically correct. Gotcha. <laughs> It's sugar. Like, if you can't have, it's like, yep. it's not a health food. Yeah. And what about we just put two Maltesers going by your fantastic ad for jelly beans that we are going to pitch to someone, actual size, actual taste. What about we just have two Maltesers and one of them says, bite me, suck me. You choose. I just bite me, suck me. That's Maltesers. it. Done. Yep. Like, That's it. Love it. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, no greater mind than Albert Einstein, said creativity is just intelligence having fun. Well, you know what? Perhaps I was wrong before, mate. People looking for creativity, keep turning up because that's another edition of the Bones of Advertising. <laughs> I'm Craig McLeod. Don't go changing, JD. I'll see you next week. You take care, mate. Cheers. See you, bud.